Hey guys, my name is Marcus and right now I'm going to show you how my self-made remote power access switch for my CCE rack will work. As you can see here I have my uh, part of my lab, it consists of some switches, my GNS3 server right here and um, what I'm going to do now is to power that rack up with a Telnet client from a uh, cell phone for example. And let's get into this right here. I have installed a Telnet client on my uh, iPhone and um, it, that is called ZA Telnet as you can read right here. And of course you can use whatever Telnet or SSH client you want. And um, I'll do it with that one here. And let's start this. Uh, come on. Okay, I already pre-configured the connection and as you can see uh, the Telnet client will connect to the address 192.168.1.3 on port 22. Um, it just will SSH into my Cisco 836 in my lab and um, as you maybe already read in the blog um, you should know how it is connected to my rack. So let's get into this. I will start the connection right here it will ask me for a password that is one I will definitely not share with you so let's hit this okay here we are just enter the password hit OK and the connection should start and everything seems to be okay right here okay we're done so we are at the CLI of the Cisco 836 and um, what I'm just going to do now is to hit the conf t mode conf t then I will go to the participating interface in my lab it's interface fast ethernet 3 so and I just need to hit the no shot and then the rack should fire up so I will I will do this while showing you if it's working fine Okay, here are the devices and I will hit the no shot button. And it's magic. The devices are powering up. Servers powering up too. And um, I have installed a device that is measuring the power consumption, which is right here. And um, okay, it's it's just on a different direction. I will I will just turn the camera and um, oh, didn't work. So uh, it it just shows that their lab consumes about 399 watts. Okay, let's say 400 watts of power, which is for this rack it's quite good. And um, of course we can we can shut the rack down again if we just enter the shut command. So let's go on to our Telnet client. Here we are. We hit uh, reaches right shut. No, come on. Yeah, don't forget to buy the pro version. So shut down. And as soon as I hit enter here, the lab should shut down. Okay, let's do this. Click. And it's shut down. So I hope you enjoyed it and um, feel free to comment on my blog and um, yeah, have fun with the remote power switch. Goodbye.